All right, so like my fans, I've been meaning to rewatch this for a very, very long time. A really cool vampire flick from the 80s called Near Dark. Let's check it out. A woman walks out of a bar. Caleb is smitten. Jenny Wright plays May. I'm dreaming. Well, you don't hate keep on dreaming, son. Well, he immediately picks her up. Come on, show me. It's dark. I noticed. That's so bright. He takes her to see his horse, and his horse has a fit. Oh, boy. And all of a sudden, she up and says, I gotta go. Hurry, take me home. Hurry, Caleb. What is it? Hurry. You see, Dawn is approaching, and she's apparently a vampire. And she's also smitten with Caleb. She then hops out of the car and runs away. As the stun starts to come up, Caleb uh, staggers home. Suddenly he's not quite feeling right. And he's apparently, his body's smoking. Before he can make it home, a big old Winnebago shows up. We got a camper full of amps. They were a little displeased that she bit him. He's a little disoriented and doesn't want anything to do with any of them, so he takes off. Let me go. Won't get very far. He buys a candy bar at the bus station and doesn't sit well with him. Can't eat it. The only thing that can help him is blood, and he goes back to May, who lets him feed off of her. Caleb may end up uh, hitching a ride with a semi driver. Time for a little hell raising in the bar. Paxson kills a guy, squishes his head. I am the man in shade. He's for you, Caleb. So the dude jumped out a window, Caleb followed him. And can he kill him? Make his first kill? Nope. Too much humanity in him. They shack up in a hotel room where the cops surround them. And when they get some sunlight on them, they burn. We're going to have ourselves a shootout. Check out time. Caleb decides to play hero. He risks his own life, takes a little burning, but gets outside and gets to the van. 
which he promptly drives into the hotel and rescues everyone and he earns everyone's respect. You bought yourself some time, son. And Jesse. Homer gets a girl. Sarah. Well, you people should stay up late. We keep odd hours. The girl, Sarah, is Caleb's sister. She and her dad have been looking for him. Tim Thomerson. You've been out a lot, driving in a truck. Well, with the sun about to rise, it's used to their advantage, and uh, Dad is able to take Sarah and Caleb out of there. And they have a plan, a transfusion, a blood transfusion, or some kind of transfusion, to hopefully get the vampire out and the human in. And apparently, it worked. Sarah, I'll tell you about it one day. Just promise you won't ask me about it today. Where's my sister, Sipper? But after the vampires come back and steal Sarah, confrontation is looming. He manages to capture him on top of a gas truck of some sort. always seem to strike very close to sunrise. May decides to play hero. She's gonna rescue Sarah. Homer chases after them. He's burning the last two. Call it a day. Caleb gives May a transfusion. Which also worked. And a happily ever after. All right, let's talk about Near Dark. Now, I know this is a pretty popular film amongst horror fans, and I, I agree with you. It's a really cool movie. Um, even the Metacritic on IMDb likes it. It's, it's a green, if you know what that means. That means it's very good. So anyway, we got a 1987 here horror movie uh, about a group of vampires, although the word vampire is not used anywhere in this film. But I think clearly uh, they're supposed to be vampires. Uh, this guy, Caleb, comes across this woman, played by Jenny Wright. Uh, she plays May, and she nips him. She nips him, and the next thing you know, um, he has trouble walking home that morning. He stayed out all night uh, because he starts burning <laughs> as he's walking home. Um, then May and her group of vampire friends, including uh, Lance Henriksen and uh, Bill Paxton, they uh, pull up in a Winnebago and drag him in, and they're really pissed off at May for biting him. Um, but she says, you know what? I bid him. I will teach him what to do. So basically, they're vampires. They got to kill, feed on blood, and uh, feed on the victim's blood. And that's what it is. Now, they go to a shit kicker bar, as uh, Bill Paxton said. Um, and they basically kill everybody there. And then they, this is supposed to be Caleb's night to take his first victim. Uh, but he chases the guy outside, catches him. But it turns out he can't kill him. There's still a little bit of humanity left in him. So... The only blood he gets is feeding off of uh, Jenny Wright, uh, May, um, sucking out of her arm and stuff. Well, the rest of the vampire crew aren't too happy with that, and they, they're pissed. Uh, they're thinking they need to kill this guy um, if he doesn't start killing soon. Uh, they have a little trouble then uh, after killing everybody in that bar. Uh, they're holed up in a hotel room, and um, the cops surround them. Uh, and then uh, they have to shoot their way out of there. Um, uh, Caleb saves the day by uh, getting outside, managing to get in a van, even though he's burning because it's morning at this point, um, crashes through the hotel room and gets them all inside of it, and then they take off. And so he's like a hero to them at this point. Um, but still, he hasn't taken uh, a kill yet. 
Uh, turns out his little sister, Sarah, and his father are searching for them, and they end up at this hotel as well, a different hotel. And uh, Homer, the young kid vampire who uh, is, I don't know how old he is, but he's been around a long time, but he's in a, like a boy, he's like an 11-year-old boy's body, so he can't do anything sexually, I guess, and uh, he, he hates that. <laughs> um, he uh, captures Sarah because he wants a girlfriend. Uh, and then uh, uh, Caleb shows back up and says, that's my sister. You got to let her go. And then the father shows up. You got to let us go. Next thing you know, the sun comes up. So they're all able to escape. And the father takes Caleb back. And he's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Uh, he's like, he's like, I'm not normal anymore. Takes him into his barn and gives him a transfusion, a blood transfusion, which magically cures him of his vampirism. Um, but then uh, the vampire crew comes back. I don't know, the next night, a couple nights later, who knows? They capture Sarah. Caleb tries to rescue her. There's a big confrontation downtown. Bill Paxton blows up. Um, they kidnap Sarah again. And then uh, May decides to save her by jumping out of this uh, station wagon. It's morning now, so she's burning. And they're running down the road. And there's a cool scene where uh, uh, the little kid, Homer, is burning as he's chasing after them. He dies. There are two main vampires left in the car, Lance Henriksen and his woman. Uh, they end up exploding. Uh, and uh, their car explodes. And they're dead. He takes May, Caleb takes May back home, uh, covers her up, gives her a transfusion, saves her, she's fine, and that's how our movie ends. They live happily ever after. So <coughs> that is near dark. Anyway, really cool film. I don't do the description justice. That great scene in that bar when uh, Bill Paxton walks in uh, and says, this is shit kicker heaven. And they end up... Um, uh, it's just a fantastic scene. But anyway, that's it. It's Near Dark. Again, if, you've, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've seen Near Dark many times. And it's a cool movie. I haven't seen this in a very, very, very long time. I've had this DVD in my collection for however long as this came out. It put, put up on Anchor Bay, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago. I don't know. The first time I ever even took it out of its package today. Um, it was opened up, but it hadn't been even opened it. Well, anyway, first time I've watched it in a long time. So check it out. I know it's available on Blu-ray now, uh, which is a little bit pricey. This DVD is also very pricey. So it's um it's a little pricey if you want this film now, but it's definitely worth it. You should check it out. I'll leave a link to Amazon Blu-ray down below if you're looking to get it. And you should. So click that link, watch the movie, tell me what you think about it, leave some comments. Tell me how great you think Near Dark is. Watch it. Bye.